Hello everyone, my name is Megan. Uh, this is my update for the Kiss My Shiny Metal Pan. This is a collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. Love them. Um, and this is like the adult animation um, project pan. I made mine all uh, references to The Simpsons. So let's get started. I have an empty first. This was the Sunday Riley CEO um, brightening serum. And this was for Flanders and it's all done. I completely scraped it. I wasn't in love with this. I would definitely not purchase or recommend. Um, I just think Sunday Riley stuff's a little overhyped. Uh, the Good Jeans is amazing. Like that actually is amazing. But everything else I've tried, I've been like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, it seems like they're kind of riding the coattails of the uh, good jeans, in my opinion. Uh, okay, then I have the Beauty uh, by Pop Sugar uh, Be the Boss Lip Gloss for the Boss Lady in The Simpsons. I've made a little bit of progress. You can see my kind of lower one here. It's, I kind of slowed down wearing that this month and I need to pick it back up. I had a good rhythm going and then I got out of rhythm, I guess. So I need to pick that one back up. My Julep Boost Your Radiance uh, Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil. I made a fair amount of progress this month. Um, this is for the episode where Homer discovers that grease is worth money. I'm being kind of strategic with this because I am going on a replacement only no buy, like very strict replacement only no buy, and I wanna use this during the winter as much as possible day and night um, because I don't wanna run out of daytime moisturizer. I think I'll be fine with nighttime, but daytime, I'm a little worried that I might run out eventually. So I really need to step up using this. You know, sometimes you forget, you just, are so in a routine and you kind of go with like what's right in front of you and I don't like to keep that in the bathroom because I don't want it to spoil from the heat and things like that okay then my alien perfumes I have I finished two of them and I can't find I finished this one and I can't find the other one I finished and then I have this one in my purse still I can't really see how much I have left in here this is the flora futura and I'm debating on whether I want to buy the full size of this or not. Um, I'm wearing it right now and I just don't know. I just don't know. But I have my little mini of the parfum and you can see I have a little bit of use on this. I've stepped back a little bit because this project goes until May. I'm like, okay, you know, I don't have to rush it. I can enjoy some other perfumes. And I found one at my mom's house that I forgot that I had. I wondered where it went, but I'm like, well, maybe I used it. I don't know. And it was a um, Lemprica, Lolita Lemprica. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Um, and that's a lovely one. And I feel like it might be going bad a little bit. I've had it for almost 15 years. So I need to use that one. It's, it's very much a winter uh, fragrance too. So I need to be on top of that. And then, uh, oh, and of course the aliens were for um, the aliens in The Simpsons. The Dr. Jart uh, UV fluid, it expires next month. I just, I've used it a tiny, tiny bit. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's not that it's not bad or anything. It's just, it's been so overcast. So overcast. Uh, I've barely been outside because it's cold. I've put it on a few times, but you know, I'm not gonna hit my goal of using half of it in another month. So I'm gonna keep going with it. My pink shade and Take Me Back to Brazil, I discuss kind of more in depth about this color and the inspiration for it. I've worn it a few times. I'm wearing it today with my pen that palette and a shade from uh, the I Want Candy. And 
let me show you you can probably see i have a little bit of a dip going now it's pretty exciting don't know how deep these pans go but um i'm gonna keep working on it and, and then I my last my last item and i finally started using it yesterday at work um this is the red i'm going to be wearing at work and it's the ulta red it just says 203 it doesn't have a name and this is how much I have left. I've marked it on the paper. Um, finally, I forgot to. This one is very creamy. And I mean, yesterday at work, because I eat and take sips of water, I had to apply it. I applied about five times to keep it as opaque as I like to have it because it is a creamier formula. It's very comfortable. The, it doesn't wear down weird exactly, but it can be once you start layering it on and it kind of fades or you know from from you know contact with eating or whatever, and then you start layering it, it gets really deep. And I love that. You know, it's I don't know, it gives it more dimension or something. And the red is for Lisa. I do love her. I got my little Lisa doll. Yee. Um, and also today, I need to move back, I am wearing my Sanrio and the Simpsons collaboration shirt. And ooh, you can see, whoops, I have Bart and Hello Kitty and Homer, that's a quickie mart. And on the back, oh, can you see Lisa? It's Lisa and Millhouse. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Um, so that's, um, what I'm wearing today because I was excited to get this project updated and talk about Lisa. I can really relate to Lisa. One of my favorite episodes with Lisa is the episode where Paul McCartney and his late wife, um, were on the episode and when she realized that she was being really like stuck up about being vegetarian to her family and then they're like well we're vegan and she's like oh I probably seem like a monster to you and they're like you know <laughs> and I think that's a really good lesson lesson of when you get on your high horse there's always someone that has a different point of view. What I like is that she's really like an activist and she tries to be aware and um, all this, but at the end of the day, she is still just a little girl and she likes her dolls and she has crushes on boys. Um, you know, as much as she likes to think that she's on this higher plane of, you know, well, I hang out at the library and blah, 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 you know. <laughs> I'm into this interesting thing and um, yeah she's really just a little girl and she has she wears pearls every day that's a misconception I think of people have of girls that like makeup is that they're stupid and they're superficial and that's not true you can like makeup and girly things and still be a feminist I, I, I don't get that you know, um, I don't like stereotypes. They really bother me. I especially don't like stereotypes about men, especially having two boys now, that this is how men are. And I don't like that, that, that bothers me. So that's my little tangent, you know. <laughs> and of course, I love red lipstick. So there you go. I'm not wearing it today, but it, it's a bit, it would be a bit much with this eye look. A lot of people I've talked to have said like mascara is their thing, they, they'd have to have red lipstick is my thing. And I've had to stop buying it because I have so much. Uh, I always am drawn to it, I always want it. And I, ha like I said, I had to step away and I need to use it. So that's why this baby is in my, uh, what is that? I don't know how that got there. That's a weird thing. Um, that's why this is in my work bag to wear at work. And with that, I have no doubt that I'll make some very decent progress if I don't finish it by May. That is my update. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. You have no idea how much it means to me. And until my next video.